Hi, my name's Leah. I teach baby and me classes at Little Loom, uh, while I'm on maternity leave. And this is Emily, Emily May. She is my co-teacher. She's three and a half months, and um, we are having a great time together. So we hope that you'll join us for baby and me yoga. So let's start with um, a seated, comfortable position. You can take your baby and just hold them close into you. So of course, uh, your baby's needs come first, but you want to also think about your own needs. So take a moment to close your eyes and just get in touch with what baby needs. Maybe they're feeling calm, maybe they're feeling active. You can give them a little massage on their back. And then readjust yourself so that your sit bones are directly under your shoulders and your shoulders are pulling back and away from your ears so that you're leaning a little bit into the back of your body. And start to turn your attention to your breath. Feel your breath moving in and out through your nostrils and feel your chest expand into your baby's chest with every inhale and with every exhale. See if you can bring some calm feelings to your little one. Take these next few breaths just tuning into baby, sitting up nice and tall. And then gently open your eyes. Give baby a little kiss. That's sweetie. And you can place them down onto the mat in front of you. So we're just going to do a little bit of a warm up. See if babies will let us do that. Right, Emily? Let's reach the arms out to the side and overhead, lengthening through the spine. As you exhale, twist towards the right. Bring the left um, hand to the outside of the right knee and the right hand behind the back. Pull the shoulders down the back. You can keep the gaze towards baby if they need a little bit of eye contact from you. Or you can turn your head over the right ah. shoulder, lifting up through the sit bones and through the chest with your inhale. Exhale to twist. Your next inhale, come back around, reach up with your arms, and then come to the left, bringing your right arm to the outside of the left knee. Place the back of the hand on the outside of the knee and pull the right shoulder blade down the back at the same time. Fingertips behind you, lift up with your inhale. Exhale, twist a little bit more deeply. And then we'll inhale to reach the arms up and overhead. Exhale to come forward, giving baby a little bit of your time and attention. Say hello. Give them a little bit of a, um, input with your hands. Hi. Good girl. And then we'll come back up and switch the cross of your leg so that the other leg is in front. We'll reach the arms out and up. As you exhale, release the right arm down. Reach up through the left side of the waist as you inhale and then leaning over towards the side, pull the right shoulder blade down the back and turn the right chest to the center of the room. So again, you can look up at the ceiling here or if you'd like to keep your head so that your eyes are facing towards baby, you can maintain eye contact that way. Just don't jut forward with your head. Try to keep it in line with your spine. With your next inhale, sweep both arms up. Exhale, release the left arm down. Inhale to reach long through the right side, and then side bending towards the left. Keep the breath smooth and gentle through the nostrils all the way down to the belly. Turning the left chest towards the middle of the room a little bit more. And with your next inhale, come up. And then we'll come forward on an exhale again, reaching back through the hips so that you can feel a stretch into your hips. And you give baby a little bit of love, a little bit of time to say hello. Hello. Good girl. Good girl. And then we'll come back up. If you'd like to switch the cross of the legs back, you can, you're welcome to do that. We're going to give baby a little bit of time to move their body or her body. And um, this is an, a, a way for you to give baby um, a little bit of boost in the developmental path that they're already going. So we're not going to force anything on them, but we're going to help them to open their, um, their muscles and joints a little bit and help them to... Uh, increase their range of motion in a developmental way. So let's start by rubbing the hands together. Get them nice and warm. And then we'll do gentle baby rubs. So starting from the shoulders, we'll bring all the way down. Bring the hands down their body. Does that feel good? We can take that a couple of times. What do you think? You like that? Or maybe one more 
Gentle body rock. There you go. And then the index fingers can come behind the knees. You can shake the knees if you need to open them up a little bit. Sometimes babies try to resist. And then we'll push in with the knees and then out. This will help with digestion. It'll help baby um, start to move with the knees a little bit more. So if your babies are a little older, older than three months or so, you might want to go a little faster. And then as they get older, uh, they have the ability to move one leg at a time. So you might push one knee in and then the other knee in, back and forth. There you go. Then we'll take some baby twists. So the right um, foot to the left shoulder, a little twist here. How does that feel? And then the left foot to the right shoulder. There we are. There we are, a couple of times. And then we'll give baby a little massage on their feet. See how that feels. Good. And then release from the feet. We'll take the hands in your hands and we're going to try to move the hands in and out. So the hands to come together and then they open wide apart. Good girl. And you can say together with your baby, so big, so big. So big, good. And if you'd like, if your baby has um, pretty good neck control, um, then you can actually help them to come to a seat. Emily really wants to come up. She likes to come all the way up to her feet. So you wanna come all the way to standing, sweetie? Yeah. So maybe they come to standing and then slowly come on back down. So you're going to know best about whether your baby's ready for these movements. All right, give them a little bit of a massage on the hands, gentle squeeze of the wrists, gentle squeeze of the elbows, gentle squeeze of the shoulders, and then we'll squeeze the hips and the knees and the ankles. Okay. So baby should probably be okay after that time um, for you to step away from them for a moment. And if it doesn't work, then you can pause the video or come, come back to that another time. So come to the front of your mat, just in front of the baby, to a standing position. And we'll do a couple of um, movements for ourselves. So open your arms out to the sides as you breathe in. As you exhale, swan dive forward with a flat back, hinging at the hip crease. Inhale, come to a flat back. You can say hi to baby. And exhale to fold fully. Inhale, sweep your arms out to the side. Come all the way up. And then pull the hands down to the chest. Inhale to sweep the arms out and up. We'll add on here and we'll exhale slowly come forward. Let baby yeah. see you nice and slowly so you're not kind of um, coming into their range of vision too fast. Reaching up with the chest. Give baby a little time with you. Eye contact. Baby talk is encouraged. And then step back to hands and knees here. So we'll take some cat-cow positions of your, um, with your spine. So dropping the belly as you inhale, reach up through the crown of the head. And as you exhale, tuck the pelvis under, chin to chest. Stretch the center of the spine towards the ceiling. You can move forward and back through cat-cows a couple of times. And then walk your hands about one palm's length forward. Shift your hips forward. We'll come into mini Chaturanga Dandasana. So knees stay down. Elbows hug through the sides of the, the, sides of the body. So the um, inner elbows are pointing forward. And then just a little bend with the elbows, strengthening those arms. Hi. And they like to see you come down and back up. And down. And back up. Don't let the shoulders dip below the elbows in that pose. Tuck your toes under now. Lift your hips up and back to downward facing dog. Pressing the floor away from you. Babies might kick you in your head and that's okay. Good. Reaching up and back with the sit bones. Take one more breath here. And then we'll step the right leg forward to a lunge position. Lower your back heel to the floor. We'll reach the left arm forward and up and come around to a warrior two position. So reaching long with your um, spine towards the ceiling, arms separate uh, away from one another and the gaze of the eyes is over the left fingertips. Can you go a little deeper in your front knee? Making sure the knee is over the ankle and not um, and towards the middle uh, toe of the foot. Take a breath here. 
Exhale to reverse your warrior. Your right arm sweeps up and back. Breathe in here, and then as you exhale, come to an extended side angle, sweeping long with the left arm. And we'll take a few circles with this arm, so you can exhale to come down, keeping your legs stable. Say hello to baby, and then coming back up. So giving baby a little bit of input here. Whoosh, hi. Sweeping up and around with the arms. Whoosh, yeah, there you are. And coming back up. Let's inhale back up to warrior two. And then straighten the front leg, shifting the hips back, coming into triangle pose, releasing your right arm down, left arm reaching up. Tuck your right hip in towards the midline and ground down through your left outer foot. You can stay here, or once again, sweep your arms around. Your chest will come forward slightly as you say hi to baby. Big circle with the arms three times. Hello. Opening up and sweeping down. Whoosh. Hi. Coming back up to triangle. With your next inhale, bend your front knee, reaching back up to warrior two. And then we'll place the hands down, bend the back knee, and step back to hands and knees once more. So we'll make circles with your hips in one direction here, just three times. There we go. And then coming into a side plank, you can take the modified version by shifting the left, hip, left foot out to the left and grounding down through the right foot as you reach the right arm up and open. Staying here in the modified version, or if you'd like to come to the full version of side plank, Vashisthasana, feel free to do that. And then exhale to come back down and come through plank pose as I'm doing, or you can come to hands and knees, shifting to the other side. Remember the right hand, right knee can be down if you need it to be. Give yourself a little bit of support. With your next exhale, come back down to plank position or hands and knees and shift your hips up and back to downward facing dog. She likes that, I think. Take a breath here, Le left leg comes forward. Here we are, baby girl. Lower the back foot down, reach your right arm forward and come to warrior two on the other side. Very nice, go deep into that front foot. Shift the back foot so that it's in line with the front foot. And then turn the left palm to the ceiling, shift up and sweep up and back. Take a breath in through the left side of the body and then coming into an extended side angle with the right arm as an extension of the right outer foot. Breathe in here, keep the legs stable and strong and then sweep the right arm down. Say hello to baby. Big circles with the arms. Two more times. Hi. And last big circle. Coming back to war, uh, extended side angle, and then inhale to warrior two, shifting the hips up and back behind you for triangle pose. Last time, three big arm circles, sweeping forward with the right arm, up and back, and around, hello. She seems to like it, and coming back down. Your next inhale, come back to warrior two. And then this time, bring the hands down to the floor, come up, uh, back heel comes up, and then step the back foot to the front of the room, and exhale to fold. Bend your knees, take baby under, your, under their back, and hug them into your chest as you press the floor away from you. So this is the end of part one. Please come back for part two.